This is Jan. He's pretty white. He's an American. Welcome to America. Which do you prefer, Burger King or McDonald's? I've, I've got a farmer's stand going. I would make any Oki proud. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have measured the, the line length that we need, and we have added maybe a quarter inch to it to account for the shrinkage that's going to happen during a splice. Uh, and now I'm going to basically pick my loop size. On second thought, maybe I should go a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, just to give ourselves more room for adjustment in case we need to. Uh -huh. So the distance between the mark where our apex will be is going to be, and the needle, that is how why how long your loop will be. Okay. And now because we don't have a sewing machine here, the to, to basically uh, fixate the, um, the finger trap, I'm just going to go back and forth three times. Above the original stitch? Below. Below. Well, you know, away from the loop. Alright. It doesn't work to just finger trap it? You know, it would in theory, but there is a chance that you'll end up pulling it out. Mm. Because anytime you take tension off the loop, that line inside the finger trap just kind of floats around. And so we're stitching, doing uh, a couple of back and forth stitches, yeah. tends to kind of keep that from happening. I'll try not to nick the strands. But it's, the dull needle really works better for this. Uh, mine's a little bit too pointy. Especially for what we're about to do. And now, because now we're gonna go inside the line, Lines, these uh, paraglider lines are basically sewn or spun, I guess, I don't know what the, the correct term is, like a sock. Um, so the... Just move out of your shadow just a little bit. There you go. The, um, so we can slide the, 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 the needle inside the line, and now the trick is to just keep it moving inside the line without having this happen, basically without having the... Uh, point poke out and this is why dull needles work better for this because dull needles tend to tend to stay inside the uh, the line weave a lot better there you go that's probably long enough oh yeah about an inch or so cool. probably don't need more we can go a little bit longer I guess but it's really quite sufficient <laughs> and that's because you did the three the first. three is just to kind of just keep it keep it from moving here. The strength comes from the, the finger trap. Okay. Here. That's where the strength is. And now, as long as we have this end poking out, we can adjust this loop. See? All I gotta do is just kind of take the take the tension off the line. And now I can make it longer. I can Pull it in and make it shorter. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to basically start with our mark where we thought the line would, the line length had to be, and then we're going to go from there. We're going to make some adjustments if you have to. Don't need this needle anymore. Okay. Right now. So find the the two lines. Hold the. Apexes right over each other. That is pretty darn close. I'd say that's about as, as good as you can match it up. Cool. So my initial guess of about a quarter inch was pretty good. That's about how much the line shrunk. And so now it's right about where we want it. So how do you finish the nut? So now all we have to do really is cut off the cut off the end. And cut it off just a little bit shorter than where it where it's poking out of the out of the line. So basically what we're going to do now is 
pull it out just a smidge. Make sure we got the correct side. <laughs> it's easy to cut the good line at this point. Fuck it all up. And now, we just go like that. And voila. Got a splice. Beautiful. Instruction, Beautiful. line splicing by Loopy. End of lesson.